So, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Sam from Team Sam X1 here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with an updated Mask Hero deck profile for the Post Megaton 2018. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more updated new deck profiles, whatever new cards or new set comes out, make sure you guys go down there right now and smash that thumbs up button. That would be absolutely amazing. And first and foremost, guys, I was like, thank you guys so much for helping support the channel. For those of you who smashed thumbs up button, for those of you who are subscribed, and for those of you who are party notification squad, I cannot thank you guys enough for all your, you know, recent support you guys are literally phenomenal and I just want to you know showcase my gratitude if you guys are not yet part of the notification squad make sure you guys click on the bell to get notified each time I upload videos especially when I post new decks or new pack openings you guys will be the first one to get notified on when I upload those videos so make sure it's important to turn on the notification bell to get notified on when I upload videos by the way, guys, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new 150,000 subscriber playmat. This playmat is Blue Eyes Chaos Max versus the Red Eyes. So if you guys definitely want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get your playmat today. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. All right, guys, as a hero player myself, we have all been waiting for this brand new Element to Hero Solid Soldier to come out. This deck profile is different from my other previous builds. I believe that this deck is going to be the most competitive version uh, comparing to all the other versions I showcased you guys before. I'll explain to you guys all my card choices once I get through the video and my take on how I am playing this deck currently. All right, guys, without further ado, let's start with the deck profile. To start off with the monster real quick, you want to play, of course, the brand new Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Play two copies of this card. The reason why this card is so good is because it is an Elemental Hero monster. Traditionally, when you play heroes, you usually add in, you know, two to three Goblin Berg into the deck. But the problem with Goblin Berg is that we only have one reinforcer of the army. But now, since the release of Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, we now have easier access to this card of you know elemental or shadow mist whenever it's sent to the graveyard it can search solid soldier directly from your deck into your hand and most importantly this card is searchable off e emergency call because this card allows you to get your hero monsters on the board as quickly as possible and i'll showcase you guys some two card combos that you guys can actually do with this card so this card is actually really important because one this card is searchable of elemental hero shadow mist and also e emergency call two it allows you to actually get more monsters on the board especially cards like shadow mist and and also vision here vion and not only that this card is an earth okay so now we get easier access to mass hero diane in the extra deck this card also has an amazing secondary ability is that if this card is sent to the graveyard from the monster zone to the graveyard using a spell card effect whether or not you use polymerization or also cards like mass change you get to activate its effect especially level four or lower hero monster from the graveyard which is absolutely amazing so at the same time this also triggers off shadow mist whenever it summons on the side of the field by just normal summoning it and at the same time if this card is sent to the graveyard it allows you to reverse Provide back cards like Shadow Mist from the graveyard. So Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, very solid in the deck. So essentially, heroes are now a little bit more consistent with the release of Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. And next off, for your generic E-Hero Monster, you want to play, of course, Triple Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. This card is absolutely amazing. You guys don't know what Shadow Mist does when it's sent to the graveyard. You get a search of Hero Monster directly from your deck to your hand. At the same time, this card is Special Element. You, you get a search of Mass Change directly from your deck to your hand. So aside from Solid Man, this card is the heart and soul of the entire deck. And next off, to come the Shadow Mist would play, of course, Triple Vision here of Ion. This card is absolutely insane. I don't know why people only play two copies of this, but this card is literally a one card Borrow Lord or Link 4. I see deck profiles where people only play two. That is completely incorrect. This card is one of the best starter cards in the deck. This card's a one card Link 4 monster, guys. You must play three copies of this card. The card is very powerful. At the same time, gets you access to Polymerization, and Polymerization gets you access to cards like uh, Vision Hero Adoration, which is very, very awesome as well. It's like one of the best starter cards aside from Solid Man. I don't want to do Shadow Mist alone doesn't really do anything. And cards like, you know, um, Solid Man, they don't do anything by themselves. So if let's say you break and you open up with Solid Soldier, it doesn't do anything in your hand. If you open up with Shadow Mist and no other combo extenders, all you gotta do is set it and pass. You know what I mean? If you open up with this card, this card guarantees you plays automatically because of its amazing ability. Next up, we're gonna play, of course, Triple Destiny Hero Malicious. This card is incredible. One of the best combo extenders in the deck. The reason why Vision Hero Vion is just so good is because you play Destiny Hero Malicious. You don't uh, you know, Malicious to the Graveyard using Vion's effect, and then you basically get a one card of zone off just literally Vision Hero Vion, which is absolutely incredible. So, Hero Malicious definitely a must have in the deck, and is obviously, you know, one of the best combo extenders in the deck to be able to just, you know, banish yourself from the Graveyard, to spread some of itself directly from the deck. It's also a mass change target, which is very, very important. So that way you get, so that way that you get quicker access to mass hero Dark Law. So, Malicious. 
self-explanatory guys you know these all hero subs are just very similar to the previous builds that i played next off you're gonna play of course double elementary hero uh, honest neos this card is incredible the way that i'm actually playing this deck now is i'm playing king of the castle aka king of the hill whatever you guys want to call it you want to try to protect your e-hero monsters as much as possible and having cards like honest neo a searchable honest for the deck is incredible okay so protecting cards like dark law is your number one priority you know especially backing off a back row and you have an honest deal in hand you're pretty much more likely going to win that game it's searchable off his old and also searchable off the shadow mist and at the same times helps you trigger off cards like anki and also mask hero diane's effect because it literally make those master this card really makes the master monsters very very big so that way that uh you know whenever they destroy a monster it gains the destruction effect to be able to special on a monster from the deck or to be able to search a mass change directly from your deck to your hand protects your hero monsters that's what you want to do with this deck. Bujin style, protect your model. Bujin style, protect Dark Law with Honest Neos. And last but not least, guys, I love playing this engine so because having access to the Tree Beast is just insane. Gotta play She and Squire. Attack Gainer is obviously way better, but I don't have Attack Gainer, so She and Squire is gonna do for now. But the purpose that this card is in here is because you play his ult, and his ult can bring this card out directly from the deck. And this card's a Warrior Tutor, it's an Earth, and also mixed really well with Solid Band to give you access to first turn the Tree Beast. So, she and Squire, definitely a must have in the deck. Out to our hand traps, King of the Castle style, you know, double Ash Blossom, and last but not least, double Ghost Ogre. So, Ghost Ogre, really good against the Firewall. If they don't have Magical uh, Midbreaker Field, you literally just win the duel, hit the Firewall, and you win. And then you obviously got Ash Blossom for the generic, uh, you know, stopping your opponent from searching and things like that. So, two hand traps, you know, really good cards, essentially more trap cards in the deck to, you know, basically prevent your opponent from going off. So, Ash and Ogre, really good in this format. Now after the spells, you're of course, Triple Hero Lives, gets you out Shadow Mist directly from your deck as quickly as possible. You want to see Dark Law first turn as quickly as possible, so Hero Lives, you guys all know what Hero Lives does. Very self-explanatory, you control no monster, pay half your life, special level 4, uh, E-Hero Monster directly from your deck, which is really good. So Hero Lives, definitely a must-off, and these, these cards are essentially your searchers, right? So you got, you know, Hero Lives, Rhoda, you know, Hero Lives essentially a searcher, Rhoda, and obviously Triple E Emergency Call. This is E-Call, by the way, guys. I couldn't find my third E-Call. Um, so sorry guys i hate proxying so much but for the deck profile please bear with me for your fusion spells true mass change you know very standard helps you make the brand new diane helps you make anki and also helps you make dark law and the polymerization because vion is the goat and vion searches polymerization and polymerization is actually able to give you access to uh you know vision here adoration which is really good up to your one of the one of that i'm playing is of course the one monster reborn because reborn is broken and also the one moon mirror shield the reason why moon mirror shield is in here is because it's for his old his old sense to the graveyard to bring out Sh uh, sheen squire directly from the deck and if you happen to draw this you can just equip it to a warrior monster and make his old activate its effect to put itself to the bottom of the deck and then you can just you know basically now use his old effect to ditch his card to the graveyard to special on his sheen squire from the deck the reason why it's in here is because you get easier access to the tree beast and that's the main reason why sheen squire and moon mirror shield are in this deck if you guys want to play it you guys don't have to you guys can throw in trap cards things like that but like i said before having access to the tree beast is auto game so and last but not least predicting that the future formats are going to be you know full of sky strikers and things like that after the balance i'm going to play of course triple call by the grave not only is this deck a combo deck if you open up with cards like Vion and also Solid Men, you already have the Tree Beast Dark Law combo. So you don't want your opponent to obviously hand trap you. So cards like Call by the Grave is just really important in this format, especially against decks that you know play nine to twelve hand traps. Call the Call by the Grave is just very, very powerful in my personal opinion. And in the next format, Sky Strikers are gonna become the number one deck. And you guys don't know how devastating this card is against Ray. Okay, Ray, Sky Striker Ray in the graveyard, call by the grave, you win the duel, man. So this card is really good. And now, guys, let's go off to the traps, guys. I am playing King of the Castle style, so I want to try to protect my hero monsters as much as I can. And in this format, guys, decks like Ultra Guides and things like that all play this trap card because this trap card is flipping broken. Triple Rivalry of Warlords. Summon Dark Law, flip Rivalry, your opponent is going to scoop and they go to game two. Card is super broken. They extra link you. Let's say you open up Double Rivalry of Warlords, set two Rivalry, pass. Their turn, activate rivalry, try gate in the gate, activate in the second rivalry, game. Rivalry is literally broken. Summon Dark Law, rivalry, that's game. Alright, next we're gonna play, of course, Double Story Mirror Force. Protect your Dark Law even more, man. They're not getting through your defense, bro. They're not getting through your defense. And you also have hand traps as well. So trap cards combining with hand traps is pretty good. And then last but not least, for your other hand traps, 
infinite impermanence. The reason why infinite impermanence is good is because it's a trap card. You know, if you draw it going first, you can set it. Or if you go second, it's even better because you can just inf infinite impermanence, you know, one of your opponent's monster. Essentially, you're playing two extra copies of hand traps in the deck going second to combine with, uh, you know, go uh, to combine with Gold Soaker and also Ash Blossom. So that's pretty much it for the traps, guys. I'm playing this deck as a King of the Castle style, protect Dark Law with uh, cards like Honest Neals, you know, your hand traps and also your trap cards. Especially, guys, Robbery of Warlords wins games. This card is busted against Sash Dragon matchup. You literally win the game. They, they, they can't play under this card. Card is the nuts, guys. Card is the nuts. That's pretty much it for the trap cards. That's my guess for your side deck. More hand traps going second. Ghost Reaper, you know, Ghost Soaker the third. And also Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. And for targets of Ghost Reaper, you want to play a Heavy Metal Fool's Electrum. Okay, and you also got, you know, Resolving Extra Deck already. So Ghost Reaper, uh, you know, just deals with that. So you don't have to sub anything out. And next, you know, against deck like Ultra Guys, especially going first, if you get access to this, you can play Bubble Man and also Mass Hero Acid. Set uh, mass changes, set everything, end phase, activate mass change, clear their entire back row. So, really good cards to actually help you know, you know mitigate those back row heavy decks. Triple evenly match, very standard. And you know, these cards are all really good going second. You know, obviously, Bowman Acid is really good going first. Evenly match, really good going second. Mind Crush, really good going first. And Solemn Strike, really good going first as well. These are all really good going second, going first cards. So, depending on the matchup, you side Solemn Strikes and also Mind Crush. Mind Crush is just very universal overall. Card is just really, really good. So that's pretty much it uh, for the side deck. Let's go up to the extra deck. All right, guys, for the extra deck, the brand new Mask Hero Diane. This card isn't new, but you know it's the first time it's seen play in the deck because we get Solid Man now. Basically, when it kills a monster by battle, which you're more likely gonna do because you have Honest Neals. Honest Neals make these cards unbeatable. Uh, you basically get a special on a hero monster directly from your deck, which is really good. So you bring out um, what's it called, Channel Mist directly from the deck, get a search of Mass Change, and then just do more damage. Master your Anki, you guys don't know what this card does. Dark Law, sexy, you know. Especially if you have an ulti, you know. Ulti Dark Law with Robbery Rewards is game. Vision Hero, um, Adoration, really good cards right here. Obviously for your Polymerization target, which is nice. Off to rank fours, Utopia, Utopia Lightning, Baguska, Abyss Dweller. Cards are obviously really, really great. Uh, you know, generic level four monsters. If you break, you just make Baguska pass. Uh, next, Borlo Dragon, uh, Boro Sword Dragon. These cards, is literally accessible with just Vion. Vion equals Borlord and also Boros or Dragon, which is insane. Summon Sorcerers, you know, Link 3 monster, your whole entire deck is Warriors, easily make this card, bring out Warrior monster for free directly from a deck. Nally's, uh, you know, Shadow Miss, Solid Ben, really good card to bring out with Summon Sorcerers. Uh, Double of Zold, because Zold is, is Bay and she's the nuts. Really good card to get you access to Sheen Squire and also search your honest Sneals. That's when I leave the one the tree beast to round off your extra deck monsters. So that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys love this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And let me just showcase you guys, you know, the one card vision hero vine combo real quick. So guys, if you open up with these two cards, you have a first turn of tree beast and potentially a first turn dark law as well. If you open up with mass change with you know pairing off with these two cards, but just with these two cards right here it guarantees you a first turn of tree beast. Which is really crazy. So what you're gonna do is normal summon solid soldier, activate solid soldier's effect, special envision hero Vion. Vion's effect is gonna activate, okay? You're gonna basically send Destiny Hero Malicious to the grave, active malicious, banish yourself from the grave, special in another malicious, send these two away to the grave, okay, activate his old effect, send uh Moon Mirror Shield to the graveyard, special summon she and squire. Which is really nice. And now what you do at this point is that you just synchro summon these two, send these two are earth. Into a first in a tree beast right here. So I have just two cards right here. You know, any deck that has access to the tree beast against Sky Striker, you you have a you know an advantage against that matchup against that matchup, which is really insane. So that's a combo that I showcased you guys before. And then if you open up with mass change, you can activate the second malicious in the grave, banish itself. Especially the third malicious on the deck, and then you can just set mass change and then just pass. On your opponent's turn activate mass change, send Mali to the grave, Dark Law, the law, he is the law, man. You special summon him, and then yeah, you win the game right there. And like I said, if you open up with the Vision Hero Vion, it's like auto win. It's like auto ball no dragon. You know, clearing your opponent's board is crazy. It's called one card combo. Activate Vision Summon Vion. Activate Vion. Dump Mally. Okay. Banish Mally. Special Mally. Send it to the grave. Make a Zold. Activate a Zold. Send Moon Mirror Shield. Special summon Squire. Activate the Mally in grave. Banish it. Special summon your third Mally. And then look, you have two, three, four. Math, quick maths. Link four monster. Send it to the graveyard. Borrow sword or borrow load. 
Crazy. Crazy. Oh. Sick. Guys. Sick. Guys. Oh my god. One card in the tree beast. Oh my god. <clears throat> Boys. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, 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 wait. Guys. Let's go back. So you have a Zold. Oh. You have this right here, right? So you have a Zold and this. Okay. What you do. Or what you can do is you can link these two. Holy macaroni. Link these two. Summon sorcerers. Activate summon sorcerers. Target the Sheen Squire. Yo, 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 yo. Guys. Guys. Solid soldier. Holy. Wait, is there a restriction? Guys. Guys. Send these to the grave. Yo. Hope. Yo, where's my nappies? Guys. Nappies. One card nappies. Vision Hero Vion is a one card nappies, boys. Yo. Guys. Triple Vision Hero Vion. Vion Turbo for sure, bro. Yo, Solid Soldiers made the whole deck better, man. Actually, no, some of the sources just broken. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much. This is Sam from Team Sam Sam Sam. All right, guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a keen with it, like, no, no, this leak.